guys, it's me, Billy Ross, and I'm here with Regency Beauty Institute, and I'm here to talk with them about tips on growing their business, education, and giving them tools to further their career. And I'm here to pump them up. Uh, well, let me tell you guys a little bit about me. <clears throat> um, I've already told you my name is Billy Ross. I have been a license, or I've done hair for 10 years, and I've been a licensed hairstylist for six. I love what I do, like, and that's kind of why I'm here because I remember being in your shoes, and I was extremely passionate about hair, but we didn't have a lot of people who came and gave back. So um, this is just kind of my portion of coming and giving back and talking to you guys about things that I feel that will help you make more money. You know? So I'm very excited about this, okay? So, um, with me expanding, my desire to grow individuals and develop individuals is probably more, it's probably bigger than doing hair. Because doing hair is great and I'm very passionate about it, but it's something about training individuals. So I absolutely love that. So my salon is gonna be a educational based salon, which is my passion. And um, I hope that I can kind of give you a little bit of tips and an introductory to what I offer at my salon, okay? Okay, so the first tip one is find a salon that fits you. Do your research. The salon you work at, work at should care about building your business, developing you as a stylist, a salon that has a good reputable image, and a great location for you to build. Okay, point two, establish strong foundations. What this means, start with the basics. Solid technical skills, knowledge of hair, and a strong understanding of the business side of beauty. My client comes in, they say, yeah, I'm, I've been using wind for my hair because it's breaking. New client, of course, because my clients don't do that. I've been using wind for my hair because it's been breaking. Or, yeah, I tried this uh, protein treatment I did on my hair and yada, 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 yada. Or any other situation, I just listen. And they say, well, what can I do? Millions and millions of people are buying products to get their hair healthy. When chapter eight, or chapter one for you guys, just tells you the basics how to get the hair healthy. Protein treatments, deep conditioning, haircuts, that's it. All right, so point three, develop an outstanding attitude. Number four, dress for success. All right, so number five, know your craft. Find what you're good at and stick to it. Professionals strive to become experts in their field, which sets them apart from the rest of the pack. This can mean continuing educations by taking courses or attending seminars such as what you're doing now. Alrighty, number six, know your product. Have a solid product line that you use consistently. Number seven, communicate effectively. All right, that's my favorite one. Eight, demeanor. Your demeanor should exude confidence, but not cockiness. Be polite and well-spoken whether you are interacting with customer service, superiors, co-workers. You need to keep calm even during tension situations, situations that are high in tension. Number nine is ethics. And one that I swear by, have morals, have values for yourself. Stand by something in your career, okay? Number 10 is marketing, um, utilizing social media to its potential. And lastly is continuing education. Never stop learning, ever. A stylist that stops learning is a broke stylist, okay? Um, and I'm personally, I'm not bragging, but I'm far from that. Um, I have been very blessed in my career and I think that it's because I continue education and I listen to people. People that have been there and done that, I don't argue with them. I don't give them tips, I let them give me tips. The main thing I took away was professionalism, definitely. Um, she's a very professional woman and you can see that in everything she does, everything she has done here. I, I want to get my hair done by her just from, just from that. Just being, having the, the principles she has inspires me to like move forward in what I do and having such a strong foundation. It was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, very full of energy and exciting and very, very informative.